All right, outside the Airbnb, if you could tell that I'm dressed a little differently than normal, auditions at the Orleans are today, very short notice, thanks to the viewer who uh, commented that they were today, made me check the uh, Orleans Twitter page, maybe check my email, and yeah, everything was uh, told about 20 hours ago. So I'm gonna head over there, and I have some information. I'll have more information on the details of it after, and I don't know if I figure out if I pass on the spot or not. Uh, one thing I'll tell you, is there's like eight, nine games I know how to deal. The five games in horse, also No Limit Hold'em, also Pot Limit Omaha, also Pot Limit Omaha 8, also Fixed Limit Omaha 8. They have more games than that. They have some Badoogie, they have some uh, Triple Draw, maybe even Single Draw. I don't know those games so much. So it seems like it's either Just Hold'em is like one option, or every other game they possibly spread all summer is the other option, so. I guess those nine games I know how to deal aren't doing me a ton. It's looking like just hold them, but I don't know. My plan, if I pass, is to, you know, tell them. I'm sure I could learn all these other games in the next five, six weeks and deal, uh, deal everything you guys have. And uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm uh, going to head over there and have no idea how many people are going to show there were, I think, five audition time slots today. So... No clue how many people in total went. No clue how many people are going to be there at 2 o'clock. It's like 1.30 right now, so I'm going to head over there. All right, just auditioned. I wanted to, to talk to the camera a little bit. Before I went in, I parked, a guy parked right there, right next to me. A car parked right next to me, two guys got out and they made a career out of like getting their like backpacks out of the back seat and walking away. And I don't like filming when people are close to me, I feel like I'm bothering them. So I just, I stood around for like a minute and it didn't look like they were in any rush to leave this parking spot area. So I just went in. So just auditioned, there were five time slots today where you could have auditioned. This was the fourth of the five. There were three of us, me and two other guys. Funny that I knew one of the guys from playing at Lake Elsinore last year. And then the third guy, English was not his first language. And he told us when we were waiting, he just happened to walk by and he saw two of us sitting there, you know, white shirt, black pants, figured it was an audition and he thought he would try also. He made it sound like he wasn't aware of any of it, but somehow he was wearing black pants and a white shirt also. Um, so we, we dealt, we dealt five games, good strategy on my part that I did not want to go first. Normally I would, I had never dealt triple draw, deuce to seven triple draw. So I wanted to see the guy who just came out of dealing school deal it so I knew what I was doing, then I knew it. So I wanted to go second, went second. Um, a few minor things, they didn't give us a very official decision, but it, the way, um, the, the supervisor of the room, the guy who runs the room was talking about it. Sounds, sounds pretty, pretty close. He said tomorrow morning uh, they'll contact us. And then he was talking about all the paperwork it would take. And then he was talking about, um, you know, you could play here right up until you officially get hired. Once you get hired, you can't play here anymore. He said, you know, a lot of places start like the last day in May, their tournament series. Uh, there might be higher traffic leading up to it. So it could be as early as two weeks into May. They need people. So. Um, I don't know. It sounds sounds like it went good, and it's a matter of some logistical things at this point. So that's cool. Um, knew how to deal Hold'em. Knew how to deal Omaha Eight. Um, after I saw the other guy deal Deuce to Seven, I knew how to deal it. Knew how to deal Stud Eight. There was a third game, uh, a fifth, a fifth game. Can't really remember what it was now, but couple of small things I messed up on that didn't seem to matter. The mechanics were good. Reading the hands at showdown was good. That was the most important thing. There are some intricacies that um, are room dependent or sometimes there's like WSOP rules versus TDA rules. So it didn't seem like the, the small things that I messed up were, were a big concern. And uh, that's it. I guess uh, in this same video, although tomorrow, for me in real time, I'll wait a day. I'll kind of end the video tomorrow because they said they're going to be pretty quick with like decisions and paperwork and contact. They said tomorrow we should get an email or a phone call before noon and I'll see what that entails and I'll keep you guys updated. Oh, and shout out to, uh, you said your name, Joe? Maybe? You were playing 4-8 Limit while I was waiting. You noticed me and noticed I was wearing a white shirt and knew I was auditioning. And then while I was auditioning, you walked over and put cash on the table like you wanted to buy it. <laughs> so thanks for that. Um, I think your name was Joe. I could be wrong, but uh, nice to meet you. 
All right, I'm in the Airbnb. This is two days later, two days after the audition. Uh, just got the call from the supervisor, got the offer, accepted it. Uh, so I guess this is about it for the for the video covering everything. I go in early next week to fill out some paperwork, and then he said he doesn't know exactly when the first day will be. I think in two days from t today, real time for me, it's the 18th for me right now. I think on the Orleans Twitter page, it said on the 20th, hopefully the schedule will come out, so we'll know the first day of the summer series. But he said sometimes there's a lot of traffic leading up to that. It could be earlier that they need uh, more dealers than the usual dealers they have. So don't know when the first day will be, but um, yeah, auditioned, passed paperwork with HR in a few days, and there you go. I think when I was filming right after the audition, I forgot what games it was. I remembered all five. No Limit Hold'em, PLO, Deuce to Seven, Triple Draw, Fixed Limit, then it was Fixed Limit Omaha 8, and then Study. So those were the five games. Had never dealt Deuce to Seven, Triple Draw before. Not very complicated. Actually, you know, dealt when I was like a little kid. Uh, five card draw. It's the same thing. Just, just three draws and you're playing the low. So probably we'll figure out how to deal Badoogie, which I hear isn't too complicated, just never played it, never watched it, never read the rules about it, but I know it's a game. And yeah, I guess uh, that is about it. Don't know some of the particulars, don't know the down rate, don't know... <clears throat> I know last year at the WSOP, it was $15 per down for a Hold'em tournament, $20 per down for any other game tournament, and there also is a wage when you're dealing cash. You're getting your wage and you're getting tips. Um, whether or not you're on break or dealing, uh, you're getting that wage. Not how it worked at UPS, by the way. Didn't get paid while you're on break. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Don't know if I'll be dealing tournament. Uh, it said there were three shifts. One of them starts at 11, one of them starts at four, one starts at six. I would love to deal the 11. And then when it gets into the evening and they ask, do you want to stay, you want to go? Just like always say stay and hopefully have like a lot of days where I deal from like 11 a.m. to like 4 a.m., something like that. And do that for like six, seven weeks. Also heard that summer series dealers could stay in Orleans. I don't know how the resort fee factors in, but I heard whatever the rate is for each day, a summer series dealer gets to pay 20% off of that and stay in Orleans. I would love to stay in Orleans for all six weeks. I'll see about that eventually. If not, it's a great neighborhood for uh, Airbnbs. Sure, I could get a six, seven week Airbnb a few miles away from Orleans. Never need to deal with strip traffic. If I have a day off, probably play like Red Rock. Not really want to deal with the strip and, and the weights during the series, but maybe get a few Red Rock sessions in or something like that. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And there are more San Francisco videos. There will, I think it's gonna be like, the next two days, two or three San Francisco videos, a much better explanation on something that I said in like the previous week or two with visual aids. I'm sure everyone will follow it this time, even though it was uh, kind of complicated. And then, uh, yeah, thinking of uh, the next type of challenge and haven't booked EDC weekend. EDC weekend is May 16, 17, 18, something like that. Planning right now, haven't booked, planning a trip to uh, Phoenix again. Went to Phoenix last year for EDC weekend, same weekend. So planning that, not 100%, will be a poker trip this time. And that's about it for now. And remember, rice is a spoon food.